I don't have my list, but okay. Well, that four four by fours cut at thirty six inches, and the corners. I'll show you how this is gonna pan out. Yeah, I know she's here. I go underneath the table, I hold the legs. So I took one and a half inches in and one and a half inches down. Okay, tabletop, I'm using a used piece of three quarter inch press wood. It's uh, roughly 40 by 24 inches. And I cut two two by fours 23 and a quarter inches and I cut three two by fours 35 and three quarter inches cut okay I'm gonna pre-drill my holes here anybody's bored it just wants to watch or say hi And we're going to start screwing this together. I may have to tilt this a little bit. Okay. Pre-drilled and I can get my screws done. I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna screw the screws in. Hey Deborah, I'm making a table supporter router Melissa bought me. Yeah, I made the frame and I cut a board and I'm gonna put it together. Put wheels on it too. I had some of these 2x4s and a 4x4 four four I bought. Need to support this. Okay, we're going to pre draw our holes here. Oh, Melissa's still in bed resting. We got rain and thunder around here, so if you see a flash of lightning in the background, My drill bits, uh, dog. I took these four by fours and I notched one and a half inches down and one and a half inches in. It's gonna hold my table. And we well, got some wheels to wheel it around on. Hey, good morning, Stacy. Making a router table on wheels. Got to grab a couple of screws. I should have grabbed a few more. Putting a frame together here. Yeah, it's raining. We had some thunder this morning. And I should have put my clamps on. Hopefully this don't take too long to assemble. Wife got me a router table a while back and we was going to send it back, but we decided to keep it. Or excuse me, a, a planer, a planer. Okay, I want to get this brace kind of even through here. Nine and a quarter. Hey, looky there, nine and a quarter. I pre-drill these holes so my wood don't split. 
in my group at Stars can be. May I forget another one? I should have brought some screws over. I'm gonna bring a few. Got a bucket here I'm working on. Using a drill and a nut driver. If you see a flash of light, there's lightning here today. It thundered early rain. Yeah, trying to pass time, do something, let the wife sleep. Okay, come over here so you folks can see it on this side. I made a whole main thing, I hold my phone. I forget my measurement. Trying to keep it even. Ah, uh, nine and an eight. Nine and an eight. I think I'll screw these corners in and I'll get that. This uh, board's not the best. I got it marked down over at uh, Home Depot. In my grip, it's uh, which I think it's time I find a working one. Okay, we'll go with this one. And I get one screw started here because this is wanting a ball on me. And I pre drilled my other holes. Oh, I'm not a good narrator. And this thing wants to bounce all over on me. Okay. There we go. Unfortunately, the lumber I'm using is a little bit warped, but it was marked in. Yeah, I drill another pretty hole here and get a screw in. Yeah, I'm just going to get my corners in because this board's off here. And I, okay. Okay, now we're getting a pre-drip drill to rest here. I gotta, gotta do nine and an eight. Man, I have to tap that with a hammer. Yep, let me grab a hammer. Oh. Well, I wanna make this a little even. Much that planer weighs. It's uh, not light. Trying to get it nine and an eighth. There we go. I gotta adjust one of my holes slightly. And I'm pre drilling all our hole here. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hey, Todd, making a stand for a planer. Pre drilling holes. And I put a screw in one and hold it. And I use a hammer and tap it over. 
My board's not the best, but it will work for a table. Uh-oh. Technical difficulties. And I gotta adjust this board on the top here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple screws here. Got a bucket. I'm not the best quality worker, I mean workmanship, but I'm learning. Make the frame solid because this thing weighs a lot. Can't really do much anyway, so you might as well make the best of it. And I got it put this in straight. Just tap it over right here. I may make another hole for this. Because I went off center. Okay, I got that pre-drill. Put the screw in. I'm just using uh, three inch screws. Yeah, I can move this and show it to you. I don't have much of a workspace in here. All my tables are covered. Yeah, okay, we got the frame done. Yeah, I moved these screws. Okay, there's our frame, and I think I'll screw the board on top. Yeah, I got four, four by fours I'm going to use for the weight, and I notched one and a half down with the table saw and another one and a half in here. show you how that piece is here. Let me grab the top part. Uh, this was free with uh, oh, can't think of it. Me and the wife picked up pallet wood where we break down pallets and uh, use them for projects. And I'm not sure. This, this side looks bad so I think well, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'll use the other side. Yeah, I just tap a sand in this. Let's get this a little bit even around the corners. Made it a little bigger than normal. I may have to round off the corners a little so they're not sharp. Okay, I'm going to grab some small screws. I don't want to use the real long ones. You know what? I may have to. Because, maybe they'll hold better. I don't think I got any medium-sized screws. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so I'm going to pre-drill some holes. I think I'll use a smaller drill bit. This one's too big. Okay. I want to see where I'm drilling. Sure, I go in now. Two by four. I 
think I just get the corners and I'll put screws in. And I'll drill the rest. Yeah, we'll just get some screws in here for now. So the table don't shift on me. And I'll have to mark my 2x4 through the center so I can get a couple screws in there. Okay, hope everybody's not bored. These nut drivers work good. You don't have to buy a Roby, but quick disconnect. Got an LED light, and I put metal on a shed with one of these. They work really nice. The Watt and Milwaukee makes them and stuff too. You can buy a drill drill bit that snap on here too. Oh, it's it's variable speed too. something where I can mark my uh, board here put a cup on the center uh. technical issues gotta grab the level but it's back here and I'm not sure where I left my pencil Okay, let's get this lined up here so I can make a mark and put a couple. Hey, I didn't screw the side in here. Shame on me. Let me put a couple screws in down here. I got ahead of myself, folks. I drilled the holes, but I didn't get the screws in. so I can mark this. I'm not worried about the mark. I can see in this down. <laughs> Gotta grab a drink. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to put a bunch of screws in here. I think I'll just put a... If it stays solid, I won't need a bunch. I got it off center there so I don't hit these screws. Let's see, off center just a little bit. And I think we'll put one over here. Uh-oh, I hit something rough. Oh, 
okay. I'm gonna put some screws in here. I gotta watch it because I gotta make screws. I got a star bit driver. A star bit head. Or I guess you could say a tor. Yeah, okay, grab a couple more screws out of the box here. I'm no carpenter, but I guess I do okay. Oh, I picked up a drill bit. We'll put that off where it goes. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to use too many screws here. This is going to hold pretty good. I like to go fast, but I gotta go slow so I don't crack the wood. I pre-cut some things. Well, I'm a bit stuck to the screw. And now I don't, there we go. It fits snug in there. from um, this planer the wife got. Oh, good morning, Dawn. How you doing? Melissa's still in bed. But she's still not feeling up to par. Okay. I had a broom. Oh. You gotta watch it sometimes because you, you actually brush stuff off and you pick yourself up a splinter. Yeah, I picked this wood up and some pallets that were nice over at, uh, there's a place over that by Churchill's there in Perrysburg, like a heating and air place. And they get rid of them. There's another place if you want pallets even to just tear apart and burn in your garage or something. They just give them away. The other place is in Mommy. Oh, I want to put a couple of screws in here. sure my hole is good. Okay. I don't know if I should do three. I may. I thought I was going to hate sanding, but I don't mind sanding actually, I kind of enjoy it. I don't know if it's just peaceful. I'm just setting the screws in here. I got a brace that runs through the center here. Yeah, here comes the rain again. And I'm almost 47 degrees here in the garage. It's probably reading backwards. Humidity is 83%, which is higher. Oh, wow, well, router table, actually. Yeah, I, I can show you the router. We can unpackage it and get it on here when it's done. I need to clean this place up. I don't have place spots of work. There's boards against the wall. There's a 
display we got for a lady for her flowers in Hamilton, Ohio. She hasn't still got. And I put some stuff together. I got lanterns here. Got lots of wood. I'm just going to make them flush. I was going to write out directions, but since I'm doing a wipe up, I do it. Okay. Let me take these two down. Yeah, Melissa bought a router so we can do some stuff. Got so many projects here. This place is a mess, as you can see. But I really need a cleaning up. Yeah, I got a big piece. I forget how big this was. It was eight by something. And it was free. Now I'm proud to get for seeing these corners. I'm just gonna do a light sand here. Anybody wants a nice sander, you don't have to buy this big one, but it's a four inch bout and it's Makita. It's a heavy thing, you can lay stuff on it. This on its side, you can clamp it down, got a nice dust bag. Uh, then you can work like this too. Uh, the wife showed me a video of a guy that bought a three inch one. And this is a four inch and about 24 inches. I wanted more cupboard so I bought, a, bought the bigger one. We got another one. It's not cheap but it works good. And I gotta make sure I don't want to lose sawdust. Just to give you an idea how well the sander works. Yeah, I don't know how many people care, but I just thought if anybody's bored or wanted something to watch, 
Okay. Here's the underneath. I'm gonna flip this over. And now it's getting heavy. But I'll, I'll just show you here. Yeah, I got my brace here. And that screwed down. I didn't miss any of the ply, or I mean, I didn't miss any of the two by fours with the screws. Yeah, it's, it's just marked down wood. You can see it's not the best, but it will hold this together. Okay, I got to set. Oh, here's my homemade phone holder for my live. It's not much, but it works. I don't have a other a watch in my car. Uh, a regular holder like the wipe does for her life. Oh, I I rounded my corners too. If you're like me, it hurts if you catch these corners with wood. And I was gonna put these. Four by fours and like this. And I should have cut these down more, I wasn't thinking. And I kind of did a boo boo. What I'm going to have to do is correct this. Yeah, I got it. I got it happy doing this. Okay, I got it not more than an inch down. Yep, a fine measuring tape. Okay. Oh, looks like three and a quarter. No, three and three eighths notch. So I gotta grab the pencil. Yeah, I thought I was gonna save some time here. Boy, that's a heck of a mark or, or a cut. That wasn't a clean cut, that one. Three and three eighths. My pencil lead's breaking. I didn't think this out too well, but we'll get it. Yeah, I, I need some support down there. My pencil's breaking, my lead broke. Okay, we can get this mark. Yeah, I can come over here and sharpen it. I just got to move the ball. That's what I need to do. Let me move this cardboard. Okay, we got a tip back on it. Yeah, I forgot about the death of the wood here because I want to cut this down so this rust in here, which I can show you. And I want to make sure I got this mark. We're going to double check this measurement. Three and an eighth. Okay. I just want to get it marked better. Well, I have to do some corrections. I'm sorry. Now I got to change my plans a little bit.
I'm not really a carpenter. I guess I'm just an amateur starting out. I'm going to take a square. These are nice. I got different sizes. So I can just put it here and draw a straight line. That way I know where, uh, you know, cut the thing. I guess I could have bunched these up together like this. And drew a few. Watch out, double check that line here before I do some cutting. Okay, let's double check our mark. That yeah, mark's off. It's three and an eight. I marked on some existing line. Shame on me. I gotta fix this. No, wait a minute. That's right. But the mark's off on that one. Uh, this mark's good. This mark's good. Just needs to come in just a little bit. I got paint on this tape measure, so it's hard to see this stuff. Okay, this one actually needs darker so I can see it. It's pretty light. Okay. Get three and an eighth here. Holy smokes. That one's pretty good. I'm just going to make it darker and straighter. I got my angle off. Okay. So I, I'm just going to mark this here. I got to turn this square over. Well, Okay, here's how I want to do it. I got moved this out of the way. I'm going to draw a line where I'm going to cut this out so I know that comes out. This will come out. This will come out. I put an X here so I know which ones I'm cutting out. Man, I thought it was going to save some time. Okay, it happens. That's the way you learn. So I need to cut these a little bit, which I'm going to come over to the saw. I don't know if I can get it closer. I think I can. Let's grab the phone. I mean the cuts with the X here. This is a portion I got to take out. Okay. I'm going to cheat a little and do this. We're going to do it a couple ways. I don't know if you can see that too well. Maybe if I move it closer. Got a laser here. I poked myself with a splinter. I'm just going to turn it over and get this down. So Okay, we'll start with the next one. Yeah, let me start over here where I can see. I don't want to cut too far down. I'm just flipping this so I can get an even cut here.
Yeah, okay. Let's get the next one. I'll show you how I notch it out. Oh, let me flip this start over on this side. Yeah, I'm lining this laser up so I can see this line here. One more cut. Now we gotta notch it out of dirt. Okay. Line us up here. Okay, now I got to cut this out, and I may just use a handsaw. One of these old-fashioned things. I, I'll just cut it on here. You want to cut uh, angles here so when you cut across it keeps it straight. That's just going to take a little time. I could turn this around so you folks can see it better what I'm doing. I don't know if that works any. I'm just using one of these old saws. I got another one around with better teeth somewhere. Yeah, I got a watch here so I don't bump that. That's going to take a while, I'm sorry. Hey, Melissa, yeah, I'm making that planer table. I'll step up and see if I can see the other saw. using the hands. Oh, huh? Melissa's up, everybody. On oh, the planer table. I have another idea, too. See if I can say it. I didn't cut this deep enough, honey. And I had to get the planer out of there, like it said. And this thing's gone. And I can't cut too much with a table saw like this. Well, there's one, folks. 
And I can obviously sand that and make it cleaner. The old fashioned way. I should clamp that down. It's an exercise too. I don't know if you can see it too well. I moved it. I'm doing it. They say a cut on angles like this, so when you cut the saw straight, it stays straight. So basically, I cut it on an angle here. And then I ain't go here so it just stays straight. And it can be notched out. I got a board on the ground here. I think I'm gonna cut it like this. And the saw's daws get up. Almost there. I didn't know I was going to be doing this. Yeah, she's ready to give. And I'm huffing and I'm puffing. Yay. Now I gotta redo my plans here. There I got it out. We'll bring this over here. Maybe I can set it here. I don't know how well you can see this. But here's what I'm wanting to do. But I cut it a little deep. But that's okay. We can correct it. I just got to cut off a little off the bottom here. Uh, here's the idea. Is that working well? I cut it a little deep, so I just take off a little off the top here with the saw. Yeah, let me turn it around like this. I got to get this saw out of the way. I'm going to put the laser on so I can just see I don't need to take much off. Okay. Let's see how this is going to work. Oh boy, it fits like a glove. I don't know how well you can see that in there. That's where I need to do it. Now I have to make sure these are all even then. But this will just make it more solid. I can screw in here and screw in here. Okay. This is pretty boring here. We're gonna, I'm gonna make a couple cuts through here. Okay, let's get this cut. I don't want to do all this sawing, so I'm going to do it like this. And that piece came right out. Let's get this even here. Yeah, I'm going to do my angle cut. And I'll probably have to trim up here again.
I just wanted to shave some wood out of here. And I gotta move this back so I don't jump all over the place. Yeah, I made in here earlier, but that's okay. Let me move this up. I'm gonna bang my knuckles. You just learn. Learn by your mistakes. I don't have the best of lighting in here. Okay. We'll just start cutting across here. I'm going to cut this a little more like this. And I may have to just take a drink of coffee and get a little rest. I'll have to learn now. I, well, this saw blade's not real. Uh, it's a fine one, too. I, there's another one we have in here with more teeth on it. I think I can, I think I can. We're getting there, folks. The old fashioned way. Yay, I'm getting there. Gotta take a little breather, excuse me. But we'll get this. I may sand this a little bit. Okay, we got another one off. Let me throw my scraps in there. I think uh, if I sand that a little bit, it's rough. We'll just move this. I'll get the sander in there. I should sand the other one. Let's see. Yeah. Make it more even. I don't know where I can sit this where you can see it. It wasn't a straight, even cut. So, again here, I'm gonna come in. Oh, how's that fit? It fits good. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Now we gotta cut this. I got two more cut. And let me move the camera again. Now move this saw. At least it's not too hot up. I 
I'm just shaving some of the stuff off here, Chief. That way I can, you know, cut not as hard as bad. We'll clean this up here. Okay, now I gotta cut my angles. I've been watching YouTube videos, that's how I learned this stuff here. You cut the angles first because it keeps the saw blade in straight. And I learned I won't make this mistake again. Okay, here we go. Let me rest this up here tight. Well, here's two shims off. I don't know if that's thunder out there or if it's semi truck. Okay, we got another shim or a piece. I think I can. I gotta take a drink. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta walk away and catch your breath. Okay. Let's get this one. And I have to sand it. There we go. Okay, we got it. I'm just gonna sand this. Oh, I want, I got a bucket here to throw this scrap in. Okay, I'll bring this over again. I don't have a camera person here. I'm not sure how to do this. see if it fits in this one holy smokes I got lucky my my boards are warped a little but we'll get them screwed in there's what it's gonna look like we'll have screws here and I'll probably put a couple down either in the back here Okay, now I gotta get this other one. I'm gonna move these boards around. Got one more I gotta work on. It's not too bad, it, it takes time. I'm gonna cut a couple boards, I gotta move this saw. I think I put the laser on to see better. I just make it a little simple. <laughs> I don't feel like cutting a lot. So I'm I'm just gonna cut it like this. Now I gotta get my angle cut. Okay. 
Okay, now I'll come over and get this other angle cut. Then we're going to cut straight across. I'll put this here so it don't go all over the place. I cut a couple of these deep, but that's okay. They'll still brace. Okay, that chunks out. That piece is out. This piece is out. Yeah, I'm not perfect, but it works. I made a bunch of cuts so I could just get, you know, cheat a little. And we got to clean this up. I'm just going to grab this sander and bring it here. That's a nice, well, the cord won't quite reach that far. It does have a long cord to it. I'm bringing the phone over so you can see it. Looks like Kay's on. Hey, good morning, Kay. Yeah. I didn't, unless I wanted or not, make a lot of noise, so I came out here, plus we had a plane, or I don't know how long, and a, a house right there when you walk in, and she told me, get it out. Making a table, put it on. I'm going to sand this a little bit. <laughs> I got to grab that saw and finish this stuff. And I forgot where I sat it. Oh, here it is. And I moved that. Because I got a little bump here and I can't quite reach in all the way with the uh, plant, the uh, sander, excuse me. There we go. Ah, somebody said something. I'm sorry. What? I was out here earlier. I didn't see the lightning, but I don't know. Melissa might have got woke up by the dogs. There was a couple good claps of thunder. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it rained hard here for a little bit. I just got to get this. I'm going to turn this saw around here. I don't normally cut with my left hand. It, it's not bad here. We'll see if one of those fits in there. I'm going to move this camera around. Okay, I'll put it there. Yeah. Wow, bingo. Or should I put it like this? Yeah, these are going to be like this. I'll put 
I don't know if they're gonna stay. Yeah, if I get them screwed together. This way, there's how the legs are gonna fit in the coffee cups in the way. And I'll get those screwed down in there. And I may have to sand the top if these are uneven. Okay, I'll grab the drills and we'll put some screws in. Gotta pre-drill a couple holes. I didn't bring the other computer out or read any comments. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice sturdy table. I got this screwed down. This is a three quarter inch, I think press wood, which was free. These are marked down at Home Depot. You can see they're two by fours and they're kind of rough here, but they'll work. Okay, I gotta grab a couple of screws. Gonna get these legs mounted. I'm having difficulty. I hit something. Okay, I'm going to put one screw in and hold this before I screw a couple more screws in. You know what? Let me grab a clamp to keep that tight. Oh, I got one underneath here. I just got to extend it. I want to make this solid. Good. I'll probably put a screw in from the top too. Once we turn it over. Okay. Let me drill another hole. I'm hitting a knot or something. I don't want to drill in there well. Okay, we'll just move it over. Slipping for some reason. The drill bit's on tight. Okay, I'm using three inch wood screws here. Gonna get this in. We'll get these legs attached. Then I can show you what it looks like a little more. Okay. You know, and do this clamp. Gonna bring the clamp over here. Well, I wanna hold his salad so I can put the screws in on this side. So this don't, you know, shift around, pop around. Free drilling holes. Okay, I'll put a couple more screws in. And I'm going to put braces up here, too, so the table's steady. Okay, I don't want to hit the other screws, so I move my drill holes off a little. Oh. 
Okay. Uh oh, that one sound. I put this one in. I can pick that up. Get this clamp out here. These clamps are nice. They don't know they're real solid, but they work. I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. Okay. Let me do it like this first. Okay. I'm gonna get this side in. Got a drip. There we go. Wow, it's thunder in here, Kay. It sounds like a bowling alley. It's not real loud, but we'll see. Yeah, I had a few people on the live. Must have got tired of me. That's okay. Just showing them what I'm doing. I don't want this thing a jerk all to. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna undo this clamp here. Because I need to get on this other side. And I'm gonna put a little pressure on here. Okay, now we're going to put two screws in. We'll get all these legs up here. I want it a whole dose because I don't know if this thing's 80 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Okay, that's secure. There you go. And it'll work on these corners here. Now I gotta pick up where it fell. This is getting fit snug here. And I gotta grab the clamp. This, these clamps here, we got a few different sizes. Man, did it work good. And then a friend of Melissa's told us to get those pipe clamps. And those are good too. I'm going to make this tight so I can screw in the one side. Then I'll come back and get the other side. Okay. Makes it nice when you got a couple drills. One's a drill bit driver, which works nice. I'm going to start a screw there. I may have to move my clamp a little. I think I will because it's in the way. Okay. I'm going to come over here and put a screw in. I may just do two. See if I can keep that about me. Well, no, I can't. 
I had to raise it up, otherwise I would have hit that other screw that was holding these together. I still got to do a finish a couple projects for Melissa, but I don't know if I got all the parts. But I guess I could cut them and show them. Okay. Yeah, it's raining hard again. Okay. Now I got to pull one more screw in this side. Okay. We'll bring it here. Can we see that? Yeah, we can see that. I'm going to put a screw in here. Drill bit saw. It's getting there. It's not too far done. Too far away from being done. Yeah, one more leg to put up. I guess you see now I not so. Okay, that's how now I gotta work on this last leg here. I didn't quite do it how I wanted it to. Uh, I'm going to have to fix that, but I'm going to get this end here. Oh, my thing's in the way. That's a little higher there. Uh, I got to fix something. Let me move the camera back here. I need to just cut off a little bit. Not much. I didn't quite make that deep enough for this side. Okay. Let's, let's correct my accident. Okay. I'm going to bring it back here. I got to change something. Hey, this fits a lot better. Okay, we're going to get it clamped. Get a couple of screws in here. Make sure it's set and flush. There we go. Yeah, I pretty drill a hole here. I think I'll start with this side. Come over here. And we'll go over here. Okay, I'll get a couple screws in here. I gotta fix this other side. I put it on wrong. Okay. I'm gonna have to walk behind her. Let me move this. Okay. It's hard to see her. Cause I'm on this side. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. Okay. Put another screw in. Make this table nice and solid. Okay. Now we'll get our screws in on this end. I keep getting stuff in the way here. I'm sorry. I'm not a good cameraman. Okay. I got to fix that other leg. I put it on wrong. Let me grab another drill bit. This one's dawn on me. Okay, we're back in business. I'll just get it chalked here and get that hole drilled. There we go. I should have went down more. I'm going to go down more. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Because uh, I don't want them too close. Have some nice equal pressure with the screws. Okay. Let's get a couple of screws in here. Get one more screw. Where did I put that screw hole? Okay. I want to spread the screws out. I don't want to put them too close together. Go. I gotta fix this one. I, I didn't put it on the way I wanted it on. As you can see, it's this way and not that way. We're gonna spin it. I forgot what I was doing or lost. Well, I'm gonna correct it. Okay, I gotta watch it so it's... Here's how I wanted it from the beginning, but I made a boo-boo. Let me lock this in. I'm gonna screw this corner in. Make sure that's in there right. Okay, now I got to relocate this screw, but I'm going to pull this one out and move the screws a little bit. Let me get the drill out of the way. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put one over here. Legs are almost done. You know what? That, that screw all got to be adjusted. Yeah, it's up and down. Not, okay. Let me do this. I went the wrong direction on one. You know what? I'm gonna bring a screw hole down. We could put three in here. There we go. I'll get this started here. 
And I'm gonna put braces around. Okay. One more. There we go. I'm gonna release the clamp. Legs are solid. It's getting heavy. Okay. Gonna put some braces on here. I'm gonna move the camera back. Um, let's see. I'm gonna measure what I want to do. Twenty nine and a half. I think I'm just gonna do them inside. For some reason, this side's a little shorter, but the boards are up. Unless I, I may, I could go on the outside here. Three and a quarter. Let's do that. I'm going to hang this off. Got to find a two by four. I don't want to waste. Here we go. Well, maybe I'll use it. That's not long enough. That would work a couple of holes. I don't want to cut more wood than I have to. Pre-drill my holes. That's a skin of lightning. I gotta get another drill bit. This one's too small. Okay, let's go with a little larger one. I'm afraid I'll snap it. Braces for around here. Yeah, I'm in a mark so far down. I gotta grab because I want to keep these looking nice. Use the old angle liner. I think we'll go four inches. You know what? I think I and I did this inside. Yeah, make it four inches so we don't bang it with our feet. Or legs. It hurts to do that. I'm going four inches down where I'm going to mark. Put these braces. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm in the way. Okay. Those squares come in handy. Get a whole screw in here. I'll get a couple screws. I gotta grab a couple screws here. Make sure I 
line it up right. Okay, get this other one. I need a couple more screws here. I'm not sure what the temperature is. Oh, the 47.7. It's still chilly out here, folks. And I'm going to drill a hole over here. One over here. Okay. want to make sure this thing stays solid so it don't shake too much. We are almost done here. Not quite, but we're getting towards the finish line. Okay, now I gotta measure this side. Twenty-three and an eighth. Twenty-three and an eighth. Okay, gotta find a board. Uh, no. Searching. I got one over here. I'll be right back. this other one here. I gotta put my glasses on and see. Yeah, 23 and an eighth. Okay. I gotta take this splinter thing out. staple here I gotta get up okay man where do these staples come from I got another one two more here nails can't let that cut you there we go Is there more? Uh, let me grab something. I'm gonna use the ankle grinder because uh, I got couples. Well, more than a couple. This one got all kinds of staples in it. Oh, I can get that in there from here. Okay. I'm gonna grind these off. There's. I found staples here and I don't want to cut myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
yeah, there were quite a few in here. Now let's pre-drill a couple holes here. Those things will cut you off pretty good too. Okay. Turn this around. Get one in the corner, sort of. Okay. I'm just going to get this loose stuff off. Then we'll start a couple screw holes. Or a couple screws that made the holes. But I do have to make a couple more screw holes than the other ones. Okay, I gotta grab my driver. I thought about doing this another way, but it's more work. As long as this thing's solid, it's fine with me. And I thought I made a four inch mark on this side. Let me double. I did there. Okay, let's get this. I guess I could put the clamp here to help me. I probably should still clamp it. Okay. Let's get this one up here. Now get two more screws, huh? I just don't want this thing wobbling around when the planer's going. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's pretty solid, but I'm gonna run one across the center in here. And let me take a measurement. Thirty-two and five eighths. I'm gonna try and get this where it's gonna be tight. Ah, oh dear. Technical difficulties. As you can see, I got difficulties with the tape measure. Let me try it like this. Oh no, I gotta go like this. I may have to find my other tape measure. I'm gonna come across like this. Where I can hold it and see it better. Because there we go. I'm going to make that 36 and a half. Okay. Cut another board here.
Okay, we're gonna get this in here. Yeah, I gotta drill a couple holes. Leave this side. Yeah, I gotta get the angle grinder. Because I got some staples again. one staple needs to get removed. I didn't see all these staples on these. These were marked on boards. screws okay I need four yeah hey Barb how you doing good good morning yeah I know I don't want to go back to work uh Melissa bought that planer and I need a stand for it so I've been doing a lot My coffee. Putting braces around and I'm gonna uproot it, but I got wheels to wheel it around with too. Harbor freight. Well, I had a clamp for another hand. Which, you know what, that's a good idea. I'm gonna get the clamps up. adjust these a little bit okay almost fun 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 hey that's a good idea I'm glad you came along Barb looky there I can put my screws in Yeah, I gotta open this one up. Yeah, okay, here we go. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's a good idea. There's my other hand. Yeah, okay, I can unclamp this one clamp. Oh my gosh, it's starting to get bright out. Wow, look at that. Put this other screw in. Then I can undo this other clamp. But I gotta just tap it up there a little. Yeah, these clamps can be lifesavers. Got two more screws to screw in. I don't know why it went so close there. I gotta adjust the L.O. We're gonna go over here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this rain's gonna quit. We had flood watches and warnings down here. And then they say it could be severe weather later. Thunderstorms. I don't know if I showed y'all Melissa's one thing, but it's not done, but I don't know if I have any um uh, hinges. I may have to uh, either get some, I gotta run to the store and get her a couple things too. 
Patty just Dollar General. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I gotta cut another board here, unless I leave it shorter. Which I may. We still got plenty of power wood here. That's not bad. I'm just gonna use this board, but I keep getting these staples in here, which stink. These things here will really cut you good and poke you. Okay, we'll get the clamps. I don't know why I put them away. I think I'll clamp it and then I'll uh, pre drill the holes. It's hard to see here, but we'll get it. Oh, oh, oh. I have to start with this on. My thumb's not functioning too well. Okay, we'll start over here. My thumb says, hey, stop it, stop it. And like you said, another third hand would help. Okay, let's kind of get this clamped and I can tap it down a little. Because my thumb's not working good. Yeah, okay, let's bring this up a little. And I gotta open up this clamp. I think I put it on this side. Okay. I think I can, I think I can. And I, I didn't do it right. Okay, let's give it a try again. What was I thinking? I need, I need a hand. Okay. Yeah, watch it so I don't hit my head. Now I'm gonna tap this down just a hair. Okay. And I drill these holes. Yeah, I know. Ain't that the truth? And I was using a handsaw earlier. I guess I could still hurt myself with that. Let's get one screw in. Oh, I gotta grab some screws here. Hey, I already got uh, two slivers just or one today and one yesterday. One there I got out. Where I forget where the other one was. No, what's it on my thumb? My other thumb. Okay, let's screw this in here. I'm going to take that clamp off here real quick. And I think I got to adjust this clamp so I can drill it here. Yep, I do. My place needs cleaned up. It's such a disaster. I don't know if I'll be going out or not. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Get the screw in and I can get the clamp out of the way. Yeah, okay. Let me remove this clamp. Man, I'm glad you said something because I forget sometimes.
I don't know if you said any. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna go like that too. I thought you would go. Yeah, thank you. I mean, yeah, that's a hand too. People do that. Okay, let's put a few more screws in here. I guess I could set something heavy on here. I don't want to be on that show stupid human tricks or something. Uh, I may have to make an adjustment. Something don't look right here. I don't like how this looks. Let me grab a level. Two of my legs are up. Looks like they're bowed out. This is good. This is good. This is not good. Okay. I gotta pull this leg in, but I'm gonna have to take it apart. My leg's slanting back. This will have to be trim. I didn't check this before with this level. Let me see if I can tap it. I don't want the legs look like they're falling. It's a little better. Yeah, I, I forgot to check those. Yeah, I get my bubble working. Okay. It's still up a little bit. Wait a minute, let me adjust these legs here. I gotta get this thing better. It's off. Okay. Let's tap that forward a little. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can move that a little in. These legs are off. And I gotta unscrew a screw a little. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I gotta pull this. Slipped 
stop the screw. Okay. It, it stopped a little bit, but it's better than it was. Just this. My leg was tilted too far out. Now this leg got to be adjusted. I didn't think of checking it with a level. Wow. Well, I guess trial and error, you know, more. Oh, I know, but I could see it. I'm not, it's not going to be on the money, but other people may notice it. Can't see where I'm screwing now. I'm gonna have to modify this side. I don't want it too far off. There we go. Well, I will get it. It just was technical problems. Oh, I should screw the screw in here. Oh, if I can see it. Okay. It, it's off a little bit, but it's better than it was. I'm learning it's going to take me some time. Okay. Need one more screw. Then I'll put the back on. With all the building, Melissa feels like the house is in construction. Yeah, possibly. And I dropped my screw. I got to run the cleaner. I tracked in a little sawdust. Okay, let's get this in here. Oh, I grabbed a short screw. I need a longer one. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. My bubble won't cooperate. It, it's better. It's still leaning a little bit, but it don't look as bad. I'm going to put this lava back up here. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Hey, I seen a couple of hinges I may be able to borrow off another project. Well, I gotta trim this a little bit. Take these screws out of this end. Because I brought that in. This works out. Forget my clamps, maybe. Boy, I, I didn't take much off there. Now it's afraid of cutting it too short. Guess I should have measured it. Okay. Let's get this. I should have my clamps, but I'll see if I can do it like this. Well, that works. It's a little awkward, but we'll be okay, I guess. If I can get this lined up here. Okay. Put two more screws in, we'll be back in business. I guess I could have lopped it, but I didn't like that bad tilt. Get one more screw in here. I'll have to make sure this is even on the top because I may have to sand a little. I put the level away. Bubbled off a little. This one needs to come down. I need the longer level. Well, I can check this side. It's this side needs to get down a little bit. You gotta move the shovel. Okay. I thought I had another level, but this one should work. Yeah, this needs to get sanded a little. I'm probably going to set this on the ground so I can see in these legs a little bit. Yeah, I'll put this back. I don't know if you guys are saying anything more. Okay. I'm going to put the hammer away. Okay, I'll put a couple other things. This drill bit can go away. I'm gonna plug this drill in here and charge. 
or the battery, I should say. There we go. It's 48 degrees out now. See, I can put that a lot more in angle, one of them, but uh, let's see. I, I'll leave this out a minute. I don't know if I'm gonna need it. I just I just want to move some stuff out of the way. Okay. Can I lift this? Oh goodness! Where's my hand? I gotta take this off so I don't drop it. This thing's heavy now. Gotta be careful. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm bringing the camera closer here. It, it is heavy. And I gotta get the level. Okay, it, it's off a little bit, but I don't know if this sawdust is here, and my bobble won't work. Hey, made in China, I, I'm not sure. Now, now I'm getting, I don't know, different ratings. Let me grab that other level. Maybe I just adjusted my bubble. Might have been this work table I was working on. So this that needs seeing it a little bit. And this one looks good over here. Okay, let's see how that looks. I hate to take off too much. That's not bad. But I don't know if this garage floor is straight. That's really good there. But this needs to come down a little. Cloudy and no rain. Okay. Hey, Eva. Uh, or Barb. Barb, I'm sorry. I read it wrong. I need glasses. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. My plug came unplugged. I stretched it too far. Okay, I'm gonna move the folks closer. I'm 
Should have kept a wobble handy. This side just needs a little bit here now. my garage floor too. Hey that's getting better. I'll just take a little more off there. That yeah, one's nice right there. get this. I have thunder, if you can hear it. Um, it, it brightened up a little bit, but it's getting dark again. And I just dropped a level. I don't know if I should keep fussing with this. It's not bad. I I think I'll just put the screws on. Yeah, we're at. Let me move this back. I'm almost 48. Well. I hit bump my thumb. I'm almost at 48 degrees here. Humidity's saying it's 89%. We had some rain overnight. Okay, let me move this back so you can see it here. They were saying we could get some strong, strong thunderstorms. Get the wheels on. I gotta grab some small screws. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's see, I hate to use super long ones, and I put my drills out of the way. Okay. something we don't lose power here much I hate when it gets dark
Okay, now I gotta find four more screws. I gotta charge batteries if I need them. Yeah, it's kind of quiet right now. A little bit of thunder. I should say time out there. Well, it sounds like the lightning must be active somewhere. You can probably hear the thunder. I think these screws should be okay. They're short, but man, I hate to put in my own long ones. Yeah, we'll flip it over and see how the thing functions. You gotta tap that up oh, too far. It's supposed to be magnetic, but I don't know how these work right. I don't know. You know what? I may put two long screws in and then keep a couple short screws here. Or I guess I can see what happens. It, it seems to be holding okay. Let's see, I need four screws. Uh, won't be too long. Are you supposed to get storms or rain? I'm always wondering if I should use longer screws on these. I don't want to run them in too hard. I'll move this over here. Then we'll get this flipped over. I'm running out of space. I guess give Melissa's one thing done here. She must have let the dogs out. Oscar's gonna bark at the thunder. Okay, let me move these screws so I don't drop this. Get this flipped over, and I gotta move this. Gotta move the heater. Oh. Help, help, it's heavy. Well, how's that? We'll see if how level it is. Oh, holy cow. These air bubbles. Look at this, it's level, it's level. It's off just a little bit here, but I don't know how well you can see the bubble. I don't think you can. Uh oh, here comes the heavy rain and where's the bubble? There it is. But over here, the bubble's not bad. Yeah, thank you. It, it's not bad. I didn't get my top in it too well. This was a free board. Hey, Kay, I got it done. What are you saying? I am in North Baltimore, not far from Thaddeus. Oh, okay, you're talking. Oh, I got it. 
We may put the planer on here and see how it works. I am happy now. I don't want to say I'm too proud of myself, but I like it. Yeah, I can get, we can see how the planer works on here. second I gotta catch my breath man I love this table this is nice I guess if anybody needs a table we can build them one with wheels uh oh it could be a craft table huh yeah thank you yeah I am happy with it. It came up pretty level. Just my garage floors. Well, there's sawdust and stuff down there. And I don't know where the broom's at. Gotta come over and smile a new smile. This is what Melissa bought. You gotta figure out how to open it. I probably made it too big, but I didn't want to cut this board down. a few things and plane a few things and this needs a little assembly too and a couple of screws to hold it down got this dog shield here I read a little bit on it still need some parts here <coughs> Boy, excuse me. I got this, uh, I don't know where I, that's the back of it. See if it, how it moves around. Oh, it moves around nice on here. Put the crank on and get this diver foam out. Well, the table's complete, and I don't know if I dropped a part, yep. Man, those legs work good. Got the screw for here. I gotta get that in there right boy. Okay. These are magnetic for removing the blades. I don't know if I dropped something. Maybe not. Just goes on one way. 
I was just gonna screw it. Put the hand on. They won't screw it down. Yeah, I know, I got this assembly. You leave the plastic on and keep everything new, right? I'm gonna take the styber foam out here. There we go. Have to read a little bit, maybe we'll do a demonstration. But I don't know, they're like, it's like Christmas at your house, yeah? Oh yeah. They say this has problems with snipe, but you're supposed to run something else through first. Now I have to get the directions to see where this goes. I forget. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this bench I built. You can rewatch it. I've been going here for a while. Thank you and have a terrific day. Talk to you folks later. And we may run the planer here and try it later. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.